Good morning, YouTube. Today, we've got a three fur for you. We're gonna change the oil in a Boxster S in a Corvette, and then we're gonna fix McLaren 650S AC screen, or at least attempt to. So are you recording all of the nefarious activities? If you're new channel, my name is Dan, that is Adam, and that is Josh. And we're at the Howard, and that is one of our cars in our dealership, NG Supercars, which is for sale. So we got a box dress, and it needs an oil change because, well, we don't know when it last was changed, so we just, we don't want you to get in a car and then immediately having to change the oil. But other than that, the car also needs a tire. Oh, and a wing. We're waiting for the wing to come in. It hasn't. It's gonna be here tomorrow. Really? Yep. Oh, well, there you go. Sounds and the tire should be here today, actually. Oh. So this thing will be ready to rock and roll for one of you right now. We're asking, what, 19,500 for it? So if you wanna make a deal on it, send us an email, sales at ngsupercars.com. Also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. We do appreciate that. It helps us out. But here you go. Let's take a look and uh, change them all. This is the oil we're going to use. Liquid Molly 540 Synth Oil. Ooh. It's Porsche approved. I love this stuff. It's, I think it's better than Mobile One, but oh. that's just my opinion. Okay. And we got a factory Molly oil filter and a crush washer. Right. Always replace the crush washer. Never reuse it. How many quarts, Never. <laughs> how many quarts does it take? Uh, this takes eight and a half, I believe. So we've got Damn. 10 here. That's more than I thought. Yeah. It's not a very big engine. But it's flat. Yeah, it's flat. So it's a flat one. So it's literally just that and that. Yeah, this should take about 10 minutes tops. Man, there's only Hobbit gloves in the... F <laughs> I love that he bitches about everything. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> no? Yes. <laughs> uh. You doing Ooh. okay? Question mark. Uh oh. Uh, Someone splashed out. How'd that happen? It must have just bounced off of something just so. Yeah. I, must I have... like how it stayed attached to that. I always look. love how thick the oil is coming out of the Porsches. Yeah, it's pretty narrow. It's that's gross. <laughs> look how how this plug stayed on here though. That was nice. Yeah. I mean, you could just wipe that off and throw on the new crush washer. And... Yeah, pretty much. All right. Well, we have a small mess. Not too bad. Not the worst. Oh, look at that. Broke it loose. Careful, it's going, it's, yeah, it's going to come everywhere. Don't let it drop. I don't want to splash. I'm standing back. We'll zoom in. Oh, yeah. And the cartridge stayed. That's fine. It's yeah. easy. Made it easy, I guess. Super easy oil change. <laughs> this is the oil change that Jiffy Lube wants to do. And they st somehow still find a way to ah! it up. <laughs> and grenade your engine. Right? Yeah. Always grease the ring. <laughs> it sounds like something you do in your bedroom. <laughs> the old chili ring. change and the bedroom. <laughs> That's an expensive watch to be wearing while you're changing the oil. Yeah, whatever. I'm watching Adam trying not get oil everywhere. Oh, come on now. <laughs> I was trying to be. <laughs> okay. That works too. You change the crush washer? Oh. Let, me, let me get that for you. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is, you're losing some of that manliness you were talking about earlier. <laughs> trying to stay clean. I knew we were doing you're an man. oil change. I knew we were doing an oil change today, and for some reason I still wore nice clothes. So I'm not as brave as Josh. This man's wearing a white t shirt oh, doing an oil change. I don't give a shit. <laughs> I know. can dodge oil like a ninja. <laughs> <laughs> Do we know the foot pounds, or is it just like two ugga dugga? You don't want to over tighten it because of that crush washer. You yeah, just yeah. want to make it tight and then give it like a. That's what I did. A little more. That's what I did. Okay. And that's, a, that's a technical term. And same thing for the filter. The filter we... housing. As soon as it stops, just give it a little bit more. Did we do that yet? Adam, did you tighten the filter housing? No. Okay. Probably should do that. So it's nine quarts. Nine quarts. Yeah. Jeez, it's a lot. Eight and a half or nine. Is this one of those you gotta check while it's like hot and blah blah blah? No. no. I mean, oh, so we traditional should start dipstick. it and let it run for a minute and then turn it off. Once okay. we get like eight or nine, eight, eight in there. Okay. And yeah, it's a traditional dipstick in there. Yeah. It's not a dry sump or anything crazy. Okay, well that makes it a little bit easier. Yep. Around the money. Yep. Let's start it and run it for a minute. Yeah. Sure. Mm, checking again. This is a long dipstick. I know, right? Jeez. Yeah, I need to add a little bit. Yeah. Looks like about a half quart. Yeah. Ta-da-da. Complete. There you go. First oil change done. All right, so we had to look up the uh, jack points on this sucker because we yeah, didn't want to- Yeah, that's a problem. Is it too far over? Yeah, I think so. Or you have to get it higher. We need to get it higher. Uh, you can put a 
jack under the jack point in the rear and then put the uh, arm under it. So if we move this forward, we'll put the jack under this jack point, lift the car up, then you can put the arm under then it. Then I think, okay, if I then, raise Then you raise the enough. pad. Yeah, okay. Then you gotta raise the pad a bunch. Low cars. <laughs> we'll always be dealing with these lowered cars. Pain in the ass. Remember kitties, now that's mid-engine, you have to do it differently. You should back it onto your your lift if you have asymmetrical lifts and the short arms are in the front. Normally, you want the heaviest part on the short arms. Well, right, so like there's the engine. See, there's the engine. The short arm will be like right there, right in line with the engine. Well, look what we have here. Or don't have. Yeah, or <laughs> lack of. Uh, missing a lug nut, so we're obviously gonna have to get a new one of those. Mm. I'll go call, uh, call Chevy. Yeah, I, I mean, mean AutoZone probably has a lug yeah, nut. Yeah, AutoZone might have one. I mean, it's just a regular old GM lug nut, I think. Looking at the other wheels, okay, everything else has the right lug nuts. Can't believe we missed that. Unless it shot off while you were driving it. Might have. It's pretty. It could have, but it's pretty unlikely, I would think. Yeah. Welcome to the world of supercars. We now have an under tray panel. Let's we'll see if we can. Well, there's, the, there's filter. the filter. Oh, they were smart. Come on. Yeah, that's nice. Is this the drain plug right here? Yeah, it looks like it's it. Yeah. Well, okay. Thanks. GM. GM. Thank Made you. It easy. Yeah, they're doing stuff on this car that I like. Yeah. Okay. Well, just that's it. That's easy peasy. All right. Such a productive day. Yeah. Well, don't jinx us yet. <laughs> it's all so new. I know. Yeah. The, the exhaust literally is not used to seeing still, cars hey, that are like the, uh, shiny. The plug wires are color matched to the car as well. Really? Yeah. There isn't even scratches on the front spoiler. Good lord. They're reusing this a or this uh, hub from something else because it has a hole to make it available for four wheel drive. Oh, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can get access Maybe to Maybe they're planning on doing a four wheel drive Corvette. Mm, I doubt it. I'm betting that they oh. were like, oh, the hub off of the tracks will work or whatever <laughs> car it was. <laughs> we're just kind of poking around because, you know. There's a sticker on the brake caliper that says Gabby. Gabby? Gabby must have inspected the brake caliper. Is it really? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Gabby. The brakes work. And this one was done if you're by watching, Sam. Sam and Gabby? Sam did this one. All right, what's Gabby, this? if you're watching this, slide into my DMs. <laughs> Only the best. We had to go to the dealer to buy this because we couldn't find it locally anywhere. Yeah. So I this guess is what they require. It's this new ESP formula. Yeah. Which, okay. It and even then says ooh. tight plus three quarters of a turn. That's literally on the filter. Tight yeah. plus three quarter turn. That's hilarious. Well, it doesn't say tight, but I mean, that's to be yeah, yeah. assumed. You don't want to just go, okay. Yeah, yeah three quarter turn, <laughs> we're good. Come on, Leek. You have to use some common sense here. Yeah, I didn't even notice that before. Corvette. Corvette. That's French for America. It is. Okay. Hope Oop. this is the drain plug. <laughs> the engine drain plug. Not the transmission or something? Right. Well, the transmission's back here, though. So. Yeah, it can't be. See, I'm not the only one who <laughs> complains about small gloves. I hate them. They're the worst. Work with this a bunch is really of... hot. I bet. Fucking Adam, you drove the shit out of this car on the way over here. It sat for like two hours. Dude, the oil it's temp, still hot. The oil temp gauge said it was 140 still. <laughs> nice. I was like, ooh. This drain plug is long as shit. I don't want to take it off. Just let it fall. <laughs> I'm going to. Yeah. It's just really hot. Whoop. All right. I'm gonna burn my hand a little. That's all right. It's all for the. Greater good. Sacrifice. We'll sacrifice Josh's hand for you, YouTube. For the views. For the views. Don't go too far, otherwise the oil's gonna start pissing out. I love this tool. I gotta get one of those. That's yeah, that pretty cool. pretty sweet. I have one, yeah. Okay, what so the, that's what that's it is. That's the drain plug? It's got a gasket right there. It's and weird. Before YouTube yeah. freaks out, I talked to the parts guy at the Chevy dealer and he said it's reusable, so. I just missed it. I missed it. It wasn't that bad. It wasn't that big. Not very, Here, before uh, you dry your hands off, lube the lube the gasket. No, you gotta use new oil. God. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and Josh doesn't uh, care. I don't care. <laughs> Not either. All right, three quarter turn. All right, it is a dry sump, so we added seven quarts. It's supposed to take seven and a half, and then you're supposed to warm it up, get it up to like 170. It's 175. 175, and then you check it while it's idling. Congratulations, Corvette owners. You now get to experience the same crap we Ferrari people do. All right, go for it. While we're sitting here, we could try and reset it while it's warming up. There's like a- Oh, menu. maintenance. There you go. 
reset, reset engine, engine oil. oil. Reset engine oil. Would you like to reset the values now? Yes. Other manufacturers take That's, note. Yeah. Why? Why on earth do <laughs> other manufacturers make it? You have to have a special computer. That McLaren, was so, you have to take it to the dealer and spend 150 bucks for them to do that. That's for so you. dumb. Stupid. Literally, you just click a button. Ta-da! Engine oil reset. Ta-da! So oh. easy, Adam can do it. <laughs> Ooh. America. All right, YouTube, so the last thing we're gonna do is try and fix this computer screen right here for the AC control. So both of them are dead, but we actually need to verify which screen it is. So I'm gonna pop it off. We're gonna take a look and see if it's the right screen that we can even replace it. Otherwise, we have to get like a whole new module because, you know, McLaren, because they decided to change shit mid-production because of course they did. First thing we gotta do is pop this sucker off. You just kind of... Give it a good yank. Speaker grill. Uh -huh. Come on. What was that? That there. wasn't the car, was it? No. I hope not. Shit. There There's is. one. There's one. Okay. There we go. Yeah. There. Got it. This is the original one. It's got a date on there. 2014. What's up, dude? I am wrenching on our McLaren. Are you really? What are you fixing on it? The AC screen. Oh, you got a new one in? Yeah, we got the new 650 in. Oh, dude, what the hell does that cost? Uh, we're selling it for 169 More than you can afford, pal. <laughs> McLaren. <laughs> what, uh, what are you selling it for? 169 420 You say it is a 650 650S, convertible. Oh, that's sick. Oh, hey, I heard something about you. Oh, no. What'd you hear? What'd you hear? You got a small dick. <laughs> uh, we can sell the vet for Tell that jerk off. Yeah, it's like a tripod. <laughs> I'm glad we're recording this. <laughs> record every bit this of is it. the shit we have to deal with daily. Right? <laughs> These motherfuckers <laughs> calling us all day. You should be so lucky. I'd be there. If I was there right now, I'd kick that 3 8 socket and jam right up out of that. Don't threaten me with a good time, dude. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Alright, Clowns, I'll talk to you later. Alright, All right, later. later. Bye. Bye. Sold to the man on the phone. Alright, YouTube. We got that off during this wonderful phone call with Pietro. So we can pop off this panel ever so carefully. Yes! It is the right type. We can actually Sweet. change it. Woohoo! So we pop this guy off. And we get access to... I think you just push the screen out. Yeah, I just push it out. And then you pop this guy off. Ta-da! There, there is. is the busted ass screen. All right, got the new one. See? New and old one. <laughs> Make sure you put it in there. Uh, the right orientation. The right orientation. I was just seeing yeah. if it okay, was so going to like that. So that's going to be like that. I guess that's the same much in there. I see. I see now. Okay, okay. There I you see, you said the blind man. Ah. Okay. <laughs> much better. Get that crap out of here. I'm curious oh, what fails on these and if he it can said be fixed. it's over, regu over voltage. Oh, over fries, fries yeah. one of the chips on here? Okay, so you put in the little thingy first. Yeah, that's the technical term for it, thingy. Okay, I get that aligned just so, so we don't bend, bend any pins. Okay, I can feel it go in. Nice. 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 And that's that. Oh, oh. <laughs> fail. It's all right. This thing holds it in place, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay. Look at that. Like a glove. Da -da -da. Okay. Yeah, Sean said the uh, the tolerances for over voltage on this one are much higher. very small, whereas the ones on his are much well, bigger. I thought it had something to do with opening and closing the door so much. That's what I read anyway. Who knows? I tend to believe what he said. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I mean, he. It sounds like they replaced it with one that tolerates voltage better, and it seems to have fixed the issue. Yeah, I think so. yeah, that's probably correct. <laughs> Armchair mechanics <laughs> right. come up with their own shit. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, during this conversation, we sold the Corvette. 
I like I like that. Yeah. Hashtag winning. Well, I mean, winning. we have we have a handshake off. Yeah. Of it, so it's not actually sold yet. We'll see. I don't like to count my chickens before they. Anyway, plug this back in. Screw it back in. Put grill back on. Uh -huh. Whammo, bam. We gotta check the Flip other that one. Over down there. It's That's in. Turn the ignition on. I say, quick, should we uh, check it real quick before I screw it down? Yeah. Moment of truth. Here right. we go. Uh, Ah, hey! hey! That. It's fixed. <laughs> Hell yeah. All right, just, just, we've got to order another one then. Or yep. should we check that one first? To make sure it hasn't been replaced? Yeah. Yeah. Well, make sure it's the same right. yeah. pin. Okay. Put the screw back in, pop the Actually, speaker did, grill on there, and we're good to go. There's a trick, which is to put the screw in first. Ah. Because then you can actually see it. Boom. There we go. We did McLaren DIY and it worked. <laughs> now we got to check the other one. We got to check the other one. All right, YouTube. I guess we've had a very productive day. So again, if you guys want to support us, please like, share, and subscribe. And of course, you can go visit normalguysupercar.com. There you can buy parts and services for your car. You can use the code NGS10. And it hooks you up with 10% off most of the things we sell. And of course, you also can go to NG Supercars. Although admittedly, these cars are going so fast, you probably should just email us sales at NG Supercars if you want one of the cars we have. Because, well, as you see, the Corvette we've had for three days and it's got a handshake offer. And so we're actually gonna go take it right now to have the person check it out and hopefully it's gone. Although we're kind of like, dang it, if they had called us two hours earlier, we wouldn't have had to change the oil. <laughs> but that's all right. We want to have cars leave in good shape. So anyway, that's gonna do it. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for watching. We're gonna be doing a lot of cool car stuff. So you're gonna wanna stay tuned. It's gonna be sweet.